Welcome to Sterling High School. We're here in a TV studio for this episode of the Castle Connection. Today is Thursday, October 7th, 2021, my favorite month of the year. So thank you for joining us again. Um, we're in our tie-dye part of Red Ribbon Week. It's been a fantastic week, and it follows an excellent week we had with Spirit Week last week. Speaking of which, I want to give a shout-out to Aline Cole, our homecoming queen in the entire homecoming court. Great job. The Mr. Sterling candidates, all excellent, excellent job participating and celebrating our high school experience. Speaking of which, if you have missed our athletics, you got to get connected. Our soccers are both still undefeated. They are preparing to enter the South Jersey Cup, which is a limited invitation by, uh, by the coaches only uh, voting for them. Huge, huge for them. Football had a big win over West Upford last week. First time since we believe 2005 that they won at home, specifically against West Stepford. Volleyball continues on the roll. Field hockey had a win yesterday, so the entire fall sporting crew is doing a great job. Make sure you are catching it on Channel 19, whether you watch via YouTube, via TV 19 on your cable, or directly from our website. Thank you to the TV 19 crew for continuing to cover our athletics. Okay, my big announcement for today is to focus on quarantining and, and the updated guidelines, um, travel. So here's a big thing. Number one, please continue to keep your student home if they are displaying symptoms of any type of illness. Now, the first thing you need to understand is that there is no remote instruction for this year. Remote instruction is not an option. So if you're just sick, then you're homesick. You stay home sick, that's great. It's especially helpful to make sure that everybody is safe. But when you're sick and it's just a sick day, then you, you don't get to connect synchronously. That's not an option to just connect remotely. Um, you just have to do like you did pre-pandemic. You need to contact your teachers. You can use the chat in Teams. You can email them. And you, of course, can follow along in Teams and OneNote to make sure you're up to date. Now, if it is a... COVID related thing where you will be getting a test because you have multiple symptoms, that's a different story. Once we transition into COVID, then we will, by permission from an administrator, notify the teachers that your student can connect. If your student has not gotten that permission to the teacher, then the teachers are told not to allow students into the classroom. The reason being is quite frankly, we have students that are abusing the system and trying to just stay home. Staying home is not an option. We wanna be in school. You're staying home only because you're sick, that's great. If it's COVID related, you're protecting all of us. So please continue to use that pandemic response email. You send that out, our pandemic response team gets the information and you say, hey, I'm keeping my son or daughter home today. They have multiple symptoms. We're getting tested today. And then we will follow up with that procedure, okay? And additionally, travel, okay? So travel is very big deal. If you are traveling outside of the tri-state area and you are unvaccinated, then you must quarantine. That is part of Executive Order 253 by the New Jersey governor, and it is a requirement for the school district to uphold the CDC guidelines on travel. So if you are unvaccinated and you travel outside of the tri-state area, then you must quarantine. That quarantine is not going to be excused and you will not be able to connect synchronously, okay? Travel must be approved through the, my office at the principal uh, if you are taking some sort of personal vacations. Those are not excused absences. And then as a result, uh, the missed days for quarantine for unvaccinated persons are not going to be excused. I'm sorry, but that's just part of the procedure as we move through the pandemic. So we wanna encourage you to continue to stay safe. Make sure if you're unvaccinated currently as a high school student that you continue to have the conversations as a family, whether or not it's time or that's something that you wanna do, but continue to wear the mask appropriately, correctly and consistently, pinching it around the nose. The, the preschool kids and the elementary students, teachers are spending half their day teaching students how to appropriately wear the mask. That's going to be very important when we determine our close contacting, okay? And then, of course, vaccination has been a huge help 
in curbing this disease. So I just want to make sure you have that information. If you have any questions, your questions start with me, please send them to me, or you can reach out directly to the pandemic response at sterling.k12.nj.us. So thank you again for an awesome start to this school year, a wonderful spirit week. Red Ribbon Week is going great. We want to wish you a wonderful holiday as we have a break here on Monday with Columbus Day. Continue to stay safe, protect your bubble, and as always, Go Knights.